what's up everybody, it's Larry Lercy. Welcome back to the channel. Got a great video for you today on Luminar AI and its noise reduction tool. You know, I've done a bunch of videos on some of the other processing things within Luminar AI, uh, some of the image enhancement type of tools. And so this time we're gonna look at the noise reduction specifically. And I've got a couple of just rotten images that have really high ISO, terrible noise in them, and we're gonna throw them at the software and see how good of a job it does cleaning them up. If you don't already have Luminar AI, there is a link below where you can uh, get a hold of it on their website and give it a try yourself. So we'll see how it does with these two images. I will walk you through the process and show you basically how the tool works, and we will see how much noise we can take out without losing sharpness. Should be interesting, I think you'll enjoy it. So without any further ado, let's roll the intro. Okay, so here are the two images that I'm going to show you today. This one was shot at 20,000 ISO with about a half exposure added in camera raw. So uh, it's definitely got some noise back in there. And then I've got another image back here that's way worse than this one when you get in close to it. So this will kind of give us a more reasonable noise reduction if we come in here and go up to 100%. Uh, you can see we got plenty of noise back through here a lot of noise here in the face and um, so this is a pretty rough situation and we'll see what it can do to clean up some of this noise and then like I said we'll jump into that other one which is a little more uh, brutal but let's start here first with this 20,000 ISO image and just drop into the software alright so here we are in Luminar we want to go up to edit and we're going to come over here to denoise. Now we could do some other things first, probably, to um, fix up the image a little more before we tried to apply the denoise. But I want to be able to see in the before and after only the denoise effect, so I'm only going to work with the denoise. So when we open up the panel, let's take a look at this panel real quick and open up advanced settings. You've got your luminosity, denoise, the color, and then under advanced settings you've got this boost. And you'll notice right now these are at zero, the boost, I can't even access it. And it's at 25. What the boost does is controls how strong this denoise is in its action. So uh, if we're at 25% here and we take this all the way across to 100, we're really only doing 25% because it's doing 25% power and we're all the way up at 100 of that 25% power. So to get the full everything, you'd have to go all the way across to 100. Now what I like to do is start somewhere about 75 here. Let me bring this down just a little bit. Um, I like to put about 75, so I'm seeing almost full power on this denoise, but I've still got a little more I can add. I like to leave more on the negative side because it's much more likely for me to... Uh, overdo it with some of these filters and need to pull it back later. And so this way, if I do too much denoise, I can bring back the boost until it looks okay. It's rare that I don't do enough. So I usually start at 75 and we may end up over at 100 or we may come all the way down. You can start in the middle, wherever you want to start, but I recommend starting higher than the 25 just because it gets you to where you're going faster. So once we're up here at 75 or at 76, but then I'm going to just start taking this across and let's go up. Let's click on here somewhere. Let's just click here on the eye and it's going to bring us up into 100%. So we can see the noise that we've got going in here. We've got a ton back here on the fabric. I'm more concerned about this area here around the eye and a little bit here under the mouth. So we're going to start moving this across and take a look at what it's doing. Now the denoise is kind of your basic overall noise. This color is working on some of that color noise that you'll see where you've got all the different colored pixels, and we'll do that one here separately. But let's just go through here and start bringing this up until we start getting happy with this area here. And every time you slide it, you got to give it a second to work. And I feel like we're starting to lose a lot of that through there. Let's go ahead and bring up this little uh, before and after slider so we can kind of take a look, focusing here on this eye before and after. So we're definitely losing a lot of that noise. Let's run this on up. 
So that's a 90. And I think that's pretty good. I'm afraid to go too much further. But um, we can go ahead and run this boost up a little bit. Let's run it up to 85 just to see. Okay, I'm pretty happy where we are with that eye. Let's take a look back here at this uh, fabric. And it's still got a good amount of noise there. Let's run it up to 95. That's definitely softened some. Um, let's hit the denoise on the color side and start taking away some of this. See if we notice any sort of a change. I'm not seeing a ton of color noise in this image, so this one's not doing too much. You can see we are pretty boosted up here. Um, we'll go on up to 90. So right now I'm at 95, 85, 90. So this is a pretty strong denoise that we've put on this one, but it was a pretty bad image to start. I mean, that's if you're starting out with an image with this much noise, you're probably in trouble already. But I think um, certainly in this area of the eyes, I, I think that looks much better that we've certainly got rid of a lot of that noise through there. And what I like is if I like watch this little highlight, for example, I feel like we haven't lost too much sharpness from that highlight. And even if you notice some of the fine hairs through here um, that are here before, you don't really even lose any of those hairs. Even that little tiny one, if you can see that on your screen, is still there. So we're keeping some pretty nice detail but uh, again, looking up here, we're definitely softening that background some. Now, if we look here under the mouth, it's still leaving an awful lot of that noise. I think it's a, a touch softer. You can also kind of see it here in the little mustache, that uh, much more grainy there and a little bit less right there. So, uh, you know, it's not making it look perfect. Uh, it's not certainly going to take a super grainy image and make it look like it was exposed perfectly with, with no ISO. But I think that does make it look a lot nicer than where it was without costing us too much in the way of um, softening the overall image. So let's go ahead and apply that and jump into this other one. Now this image was actually done with a 5D Mark II. So it's about a 12-year-old camera. And so it was only shot at 6400, but it's much older technology. It was still boosted a, a half stop in uh, camera raw. And you can see here, it's got a ridiculous amount of noise um, through here. So this is going to be a really tough challenge for the software. And we'll see what it can do. Okay, so we'll go into edit. Come here under denoise. And let's go ahead and jump in so we can see this noise in all its glory. So we know right off the bat we're going to, let's turn that on so we can get to the boost. I'm going to bring the boost up to probably 90 just for starters. In fact, what I may do on this image, because it's so bad, um, I'd be curious just to see, let's get up here where we can see some of this and some of this. I'd be curious to see what happens if we just blast it all the way to the right on all the sliders, just max power, and look at the before and after. Let's look at this area here where we've got this multicolor glitter going. It's definitely knocked that back. Same with this section here. You've got a lot of this blue and red. And I can still see it there, but when you look at this side by side, it's definitely much better. Now again, if you're coming in with an image that's this terribly noisy, you're in trouble. You know, when I look down here at all this noise, I feel like it's just kind of smoothing things out here. There's still a lot of junk. Um, it definitely looks smoother, but I don't know that that's necessarily better uh, if we look at the before and after. I mean, it's gotten rid of the, the grainy noise and just kind of replaced it with a smooth noise. So I'm not happy with what's happened down there. But looking here at the eye, I feel like it's much better. And this is maxed out, so... Now you could certainly probably save this, come in and run it again, but you're going to start getting in trouble with the image getting too soft. And so it looks to me that that's about the max you're going to be able to fix with Luminar AI on an image like this, as far as just using this denoise. And like I said, it's certainly improving it, 
but I think it's going to be a lot more handy for images when you just need to clean up a little noise versus something that's like this where it's just a noise disaster. So there you can see the jury is a little bit out for me on the AI's noise reduction tool. If you're doing a small job, maybe just a little bit of noise that needs to be tidied up or some stuff that you've done from doing a lot of processing to the image and you've created a little bit of noise that you want to go ahead and take away, I think it works perfectly for that. It does a great job. However, if you've got an image like we looked at today that's just riddled with noise and dots everywhere and terrible shape, for me it's not quite up to the challenge, at least not as good as some of the other ways of attacking noise that are out there. That being said, even with the shortfalls of the noise reduction, I still feel like the image enhancement tools within this software really make it a, a great deal for photographers. And if it's something that you do want to check out, you can use the discount code LARRYPHOTO to get a discount on the purchase. I'd also love to know if you try out the software yourself. Do you get similar results as what I got? Or maybe you're finding a different way of using it that uh, you're getting a lot better noise reduction than what I did. I'd love to hear uh, how it worked for you. But that's all I got for this video. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.